Hello students, um, so in the previous class we looked into one dimensional uh, bifurcation for scalar equations. Uh, today we will start uh, one dimensional bifurcation for planar systems and then we will move on to half bifurcation um, uh, theory. So basically uh, it will be just a continuation of uh, what we did in the previous class. So let us consider um, so one dimensional, so we now consider. Um, we consider we consider one dimensional one dimensional um, bifurcation bifurcation um, occasions for autonomous autonomous uh, planner uh, systems of the form x1 dash equals to f of x1 x2 mu and x2 dash equals to f2 of x1 x2 mu. Let us call it as equation number 1. So, 1 a and 1 b. So, where f is equals to f 1 f 2 you can put transpose or it does not matter. So, transpose uh, belonging to c 1 of uh, d uh, r 2 with uh, d is an open subset in R2 cross R. Uh, suppose that, suppose that P0 equals to x01, x02, comma mu0 belongs to D such that mu0 is a one dimensional is a one dimensional bifurcation value with uh, x 0 1 and x 0 2 uh, and associated equilibrium of the system 1 of the system 1. Then uh, by previous theorem we just have to generalize. So, whatever we had in the previous theorem for scalar case we will just generalize it for this f being vector. Then from previous theorem from previous theorem what did we have? We will have f at p 0 equals to 0 and uh, determinant of um, del f 1 f 2 and del x 1 x 2 at p 0 equals to 0. Right. So, this has to be true from the previous theorem. And uh, now we will study uh, in this uh, uh, basically uh, chapter uh, or in this section about this uh, one dimensional uh, bifurcation for uh, planar systems that means uh, system of this type. So, again the best way to study is to start with an example. So, let us consider one example uh, x 1 dash equals to mu minus x 1 to the power 2 m where m belongs to set of all natural number and uh, x 2 dash equals to minus of x 2 right. So, we observe that uh, is a system I mean the equation let us say that one was 1 and 2 just for simplicity uh, or clarity 1 and 2. So, equation 1 and 2 um, are scalar in t uh, uh, extension uh, from uh, equation 
uh, equations uh, 1 and 2 are scalar extension of um, or are uh, scalar extension are extensions uh, are extension of scalar equation scalar equation right um, so again um, hence we know that looking at the equation hence mu is equals to 0 is the bifurcation value is the bifurcation uh, value and uh, system 1 to 2 has no equilibrium just like before when mu is if or when mu is less than 0 um, it has exactly exactly one equilibrium point equilibrium point which is 0 0 and uh, uh, has exactly uh, two equilibria two equilibria plus minus mu to the power 1 by 2 m comma 0 when mu is positive right so it's just a small extension of um, the properties that we just addressed uh, for the previous example uh, where we had uh, x dash equals to mu minus x to the power 2 m right so for any value so note that note that for any value um, uh, for any value or for any solution not value but rather for any solution x 1 t and x 2 t equation 1 to 2 or system 1 to 2 with any mu with any mu we have x 2 t going to 0 as t tends to infinity and thus and thus um, the stability the stability of the equilibrium branch is determined is determined by the behavior of x 1 t by the behavior of x 1 t right so basically in this system uh, we can see that x 2 t um, that uh, actually goes to uh, 0 as t tends to infinity so it is really not uh, affecting uh, the solution. So, what basically affecting is x 1 t. So, based on the properties of x 1 t we can say what kind of uh, stability um, uh, of the solution is there and uh, uh, in that case um, just like the previous example all those properties which we drove uh, which we um, uh, derived uh, actually will be valid here also. So, here we can say if mu is less than 0 then there is no equilibrium point, if mu is positive then we have two equilibrium points, if mu is equals to 0 then we have this uh, yeah, bifurcation value and so on. So, that is mainly determined by the equation 1 rather than equation 2. So, that is what we uh, want to um, talk about in this um, uh, planner system. Another example that one can investigate is um, x 1 dash equals to x 1 times mu minus x 1 minus x 2 whole square and x 2 dash equals to x 2 times x 1 minus 1. So, now here we have coupled equation right. Uh, we have uh, x 1 uh, x 2 present in the first equation and x 1 present in the second equation. So, this system is basically of uh, your um, 
um, how to say uh, interacting species or a prey predator or Lotka Volterra type equation. So, because there is an interaction going on, you have a coupled equation. So, one is mixed with another. So, it's kind of uh, an, or just an example of a coupled equation um, or interacting species. So, here x1 and x2, uh, let us see if it is prey predator model. So, here basically our uh, x1 and x2 denotes the population of prey and predator. So, let us say x1 denotes the population of um, prey and uh, x2 denotes the population of uh, predator, right. So, when x2, uh, so here uh, when x2 equals to 0 uh, and uh, mu is positive, when x2 equals to 0 and mu is positive, uh, the system has, uh, uh, the system reduces, the system reduces uh, to the logistic equation, this is to the logistic uh, equation, which is basically x, da, x 1 dash equals to uh, x 1 times mu minus x 1. And uh, here basically, if we let uh, um, t tends to infinity, then basically x 1 will tend to mu. And uh, therefore, mu uh, basically here is the carrying capacity. Uh, in pre predator model, we call mu as the carrying capacity. So, x1 tends to mu as t tends to infinity. Um, that we can write in the next page. So, x1 tends to mu as uh, t tends to infinity, and uh, hence mu is the carrying capacity, carrying capacity. Similarly, when x 1 is 0, uh, then the system reduces to uh, decay equation. When x 1 is 0, when x 1 is 0, then the system reduces to a decay equation uh, x 2 dash, sorry, x 2 dash equals to minus of x 2 and hence uh, x 2 goes to 0 as t tends to infinity. So, basically um, here also we can see that uh, x 2 t. So, this is uh, similar as the previous example. So, x 2 t goes to 0 as t tends to infinity. So, now we can study the behavior um, of the equilibrium points and uh, bifurcation value uh, for x 1 and x 2. right? So, in order to do that, uh, we will set x 1 equals to 0, then x 2 equals to 0, then we will determine what will be the x 1 value, then x 2 value when we are looking for bifurcation point. So, there is a step by step analysis that we can do as we did for the previous example. It is relatively long. So, I mean um, just um, we can uh, do this or I can supply uh, in the um, uh, assignment or as an external problem in the, in the lecture. Uh, but one can do the uh, bifurcation analysis for this um, interacting species model. The previous example was shorter to do, here it will be just uh, relatively long, but we have to do the calculation. So, this I am leaving up to the students to, um, to, do, the, uh, to do the bifurcation analysis for uh, this system. Now, um, we uh, so, similarly you can uh, increase uh, the complexity of the right hand side and the complexity uh, will bring more uh, calculations actually to do the bifurcation part. Um, what uh, I want to uh, mention is uh, one uh, small theorem and uh, about, uh, about this uh, planner system. So, before we do that, um, let me just uh, mention what do we mean by Hoff bifurcation, Hoff, H-O-P-F, uh, Hoff bifurcation for planner system. Bifur for for planner systems. So, as usual, we are denoting x 1 dash equals to f of uh, f 1 of x 1 x 2 mu and x 2 dash equals to f 2 of x 1 x 2 mu. Uh, let us call it as equation number 1. Okay. So, for uh, the convenience, uh, uh, we will denote, we assume that. So, we assume 
that f is equals to f1 f2 transpose mapping from d to r2 is analytic is analytic uh, with d as an open uh, with t as as an open subset open subset um, of r2 cross r right and uh, let 0 0 0 belongs to d so without loss of generality so without without loss of generality we suppose that f 1 0 0 mu is equals to 0 and f 2 0 0 mu is equals to 0 that is 0 0 is an equilibrium point is an equilibrium point uh, for all mu belonging to R and uh, let A mu is equals to del F 1 F 2 del um, x 1 x 2 at 0 0 mu. Okay. So, these are the few settings that we are doing uh, for half perfection and uh, alpha plus minus i beta they are both functions of mu. So, you can write like this uh, mu be the eigenvalues be the eigenvalues of uh, be the eigenvalues of uh, A. Um, mu. So, for mu is equals to 0 to be the half bifurcation half bifurcation half bifurcation uh, for mu is equals to 0 to be uh, the half bifurcation uh, value uh, for mu equals to 0 to be a half bifurcation value for system to be a half bifurcation value for uh, system for system um, 1 for system 1 we must have we must have uh, alpha 0 equals to 0 and beta 0 equals to beta which is not equals to uh, 0. So, then uh, uh, we can state the uh, uh, bifurcation, Hopf bifurcation result or Hopf bifurcation theorem. Uh, the statement goes like this theorem. All right. Um, so, suppose that the equilibrium point, suppose that the equilibrium point equilibrium point 0 0 is stable uh, stable uh, point for uh, equation 1 um, suffix mu equals to 0 that means when mu is 0 in the system. So, suppose the equilibrium point 0 0 is stable point for uh, equation for equation for equation 1 at mu equals to 0 that means uh, the system of equation that we have considered 1 there mu is basically 0 um, mu is equals to 0 and uh, 0 0 and 0 0 is an unstable uh, point for uh, one 
at mu is equals to 0 for equation 1 at mu is equals to 0 for mu is positive oh sorry for mu is positive and uh, mu is negative also right unstable point for mu is positive or mu is negative then for mu positive or mu negative uh, sufficiently close to 0, sufficiently close to 0, system 1, system 1 has an arbitrary, has an arbitrary, arbitrary asymptotically stable limit cycle on the neighborhood of 0 Asympt arbitrarily asymptotically 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 stable limit cycle um, on a neighborhood of 0 0 so, suppose that the equilibrium point 0 0 is stable point for equation 1 at mu is equals to 0 and 0 0 is an unstable point for mu positive or, uh, or mu negative right 1 at mu. So, 1 at mu means uh, you have the involvement of the parameter uh, mu and uh, it is unstable for mu is positive or mu is negative. Then for mu positive or similarly mu negative sufficiently close to 0 system 1 has an arbitrary asymptotic stable uh, limit cycle on a neighborhood of uh, 0 0 that is uh, part A and uh, part B is uh, uh, suppose 0 0 uh, so that is the equilibrium point is unstable is unstable uh, is an unstable point uh, for system 1 at mu is equals to 0 uh, for system 1 and uh, 0 0 is a stable point for system uh, 1 at mu for mu positive or mu is negative. Um, suppose 0 0 is an unstable point for system 1 at mu is equals to 0 and 0 0 is a stable point for system 1 uh, mu for mu uh, positive or mu negative. Um, then for mu positive or mu negative uh, for mu positive and for mu negative uh, sufficiently close to 0, 0 uh, system 1 mu uh, has an uh, has an or uh, has an arbitrary Um, R B arbitrary uh, uh, unstable or oh no not arbitrary orbitally uh, sorry has an arbitrarily orbitrally uh, one t orbitrally um, unstable. Unstable limit cycle in a neighborhood of zero zero. Right. So let us look at the statement. Um, it says that uh, suppose that the equilibrium point zero zero is stable point for uh, equation one at mu is equals to zero, and zero zero is an unstable point for uh, mu either positive or mu negative. Then if mu is positive and sufficiently close to 0, system 1 has arbitrary uh, asymptotically stable limit cycle. And similarly, if mu is less than 0, then similar conclusion holds. 
Um, then part B is if 0, 0 is an unstable point for system 1 at mu is equal to 0 and 0, 0 is a stable point uh, for system that means vice versa of uh, the part A for mu positive or mu negative. Then for mu positive or mu negative uh, sufficiently close to 0 system 1 uh, at mu has an uh, arbitrarily unstable uh, limit cycle in the neighborhood of 0, 0, right. So, this is what uh, bifurcation, uh, Hoff bifurcation theorem uh, means. Uh, we can try to solve one example just to cover up the topic. But, um, yes, but um, this is uh, quite standard in uh, bifurcation theory for a planar system. So, we uh, basically saw that uh, um, if you have scalar equation, then what will be the criteria? Then if we have a vector equation or uh, let us say uh, an um, autonomous system, but uh, systems basically. So, then in that case um, and there is only one parameter mu. So, then in that case uh, we also see that when the bifurcation will occur, uh, first of all you have to get the equilibrium point and if you have the equilibrium point, then we from there we will we see when the um, uh, this bifurcation has happened, when it is unstable, when it is stable, if it is stable then whether it is asymptotically stable or not. So, like that uh, the scalar properties can be generalized to the planar systems. Um, we may want to do maybe one example just to make this understand. So, I think uh, I will do that example in the next class before we conclude this chapter. So, we will start with the Hough bifurcation th um, uh, for uh, planar systems. We will cover one or two examples and maybe a theorem and then we will move on to our next topic uh, which is uh, about damped uh, vibrations and all that. So, I will stop here uh, today and we will continue this discussion in our next class.